Hello my dear students, welcome back to our science class. Today we will learn something amazing. But before that, let us revise some concepts from previous class. In the previous class, what we have learned? We have learned about various parts of the plant and about leaf in detail. What leaf they do? Leaf prepares food through photosynthesis process to the entire plant. Isn't it? Today we will learn about unusual plants. But before that, in the last class, we did some activities. Isn't it? The two activities are there. That is, for preparation of food, we leaf requires sunlight. Isn't it? And there are some small, small pores are present on the leaf. Okay, all these two activities. These two activities we did in the last class, isn't it? But for these activities we need sufficient amount of sunlight. But without sunlight, this we cannot get a proper result. For that we have to wait for sunlight because it's raining outside. To get a proper result, we have to wait for okay a strong sunlight. If you are not getting the proper result, then you also wait for that. And after sun, uh, in the presence of sunlight, do the activity and keep that record in the form of photo. Okay. Now let us move on to the today's concept. Today we will learn about some unusual plants. Do you know unusual plants means what? Now uh, tell me the meaning of unusual. Unusual means the plant doesn't have all the exact parts of a plant. Means some plant doesn't have stem, maybe some plant doesn't have leaf or flower like that. Maybe some plants are not in green color. Okay, about those plants we will learn in today's class. Okay, let us learn about this plant. See? is a cactus plant. Okay. Cactus, how it prepares food for the entire plant? These all the parts are nothing but the stem. They are not leaf. They are stem. And they prepare food through this stem. The bulky portion we can see here. This is the stem of a cactus plant and it prepares food for the entire plant. This is one of the unusual plant. Then let us move on towards the non-green plant. Some of the non-green plants, for example, fungus. If you have bread in your house, okay, what you have to do? You have to take a piece of bread and keep that piece of bread into a plastic for four to five days. Okay, then what will happen? See, like this, the fungus will grow on the bread. That fungus is nothing but non-green plant. Is there any green color here? No. That means this plant is non-green plant. The plant cannot prepare their food by oil. They live on or they grow on the decay and dead substance of plant. Here on the bread, they will get the nutrients, nutrients, minerals from the bread itself and they grow. They are not green in color so they cannot prepare their food. They are called as non-green plant. We have another example. Yes. Have you seen this? This is a mushroom and this mushroom is also non-green plant because there is no green color. Green color means no chlorophyll and because of that this is called as fungus and this cannot prepare their food by their own. They depends upon other elements like wet wood or maybe decay and dead plant. They grow on such substances and materials. Okay. Now this is all about unusual plant. But there are some horrible plants too. Do you know which are they? They are just like monsters. What we call them as? Yes, you 
is correct? Insectivorous. Insectivorous means what? Plant eats insects. Do you imagine that? Okay, you have to imagine because I have example for you. See here, the, the plant is just like a monster. The plant is eating the insects. I am not afraid about it because, because these plants cannot eat human beings because of their size. They are always small in size than human beings. They can eat insects and, and small small animals like frog, mouse. Okay. Insectivorous plants means what? The plants which eats insects, small animals. Okay. And I have another example for the insectivorous plant. Here, see, this is Venus flytrap. Okay. Look at this plant carefully. What it is doing? Okay, what it do when any insect sits on the surface of this plant? See very carefully. See what it is doing? Yes. Whenever an insect sits on the leaf of this plant, what it do? It immediately trap that insect and eats. Okay. This is the example of insectivorous plant. This insectivorous plant is also called as carnivorous plant. Do you know about the carnivorous animals? Who, who eats only animals? Here also, these plants eat animals, small small animals, insects, mosquitoes like this. Here I have another example for you. This is the example for insectivorous plant that is Pitcher plant. The name of this plant is Pitcher plant. Okay. This plant is like cup shape is there. Isn't it? And whenever any insect sits on the leaf of this plant, what it do? It immediately close their lid and the insect trap inside this bowl shape. Okay. And what it do? It eats the insect. Likewise, I have another example for the insectivorous plant. What see? See. Here, this is the example for insectivorous plant that is sunbeam. Okay? See very carefully, there are small small bits are there. Okay? Small small needle shapes are there. Whenever any insect sits on this plant, what we do? The immediately the insect die. Okay? And that eaten by this plant. Okay. Isn't that amazing my dear students? Yes. Plants can also eat animals. Yes. This is horrible too. Do you know all this type of plants where it found? It found in Meghalaya, Assam where the moisture should be more and also sunlight in our India. Most of the places like Meghalaya, Assam, here some of these insectivorous plants are found. Okay. Now let us move on to the next concept of our lesson. See, do you know we eat food? And by eating food, we get more energy. Isn't it, my dear students? Now, can we eat sunlight? Can we eat that? No. But we can get the energy from sunlight, light by energy flow. This is the next topic of our lesson. Yes, see here the sunlight is falling and the grass is preparing food. Okay, for the entire plant. And the grass is eaten by, see, cow. And then the products by Cow, that is milk, butter, ghee, all these products. Who eats that? Yes, human beings. So this is the energy flow from sunlight to human beings. Isn't it my dear students? So this is called as energy flow. Now, let us move on to the dependence. Do you know animals and plants are interdependent with each other. 
animals with the plants so they are interdependent means what they are dependent on each other means animal eats plant okay what is the food source for animal animal eat tintare animal plants tintare so animals plants mele dependent idare isn't it now the products from animal eaten by human beings so indirectly the human beings also depended upon plants plants gives us shelter isn't it see which provides me shelter so for shelter and for animals and birds plants and trees are very much more important and during photosynthesis process what happens photosynthesis process alli enagutte oxygen release agutte and adhe oxygen nam human body ge breathe ge ha adu thumbane important so it provides us oxygen through photosynthesis process isn't it my dear students ee gotaitella animals matte plants eshtu dependent idare they are interdependent on each other but the environment alli a number of plants eshtu idavalla ashte number of animals ive adakke na enu heltivi balance anta heltivi nim nodidira balance ತಕ್ಕಡಿ ನೋಡಿದಿರ ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ ಅಂಗಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಅಂತ ನೋಡಕ್ಕೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ತಕ್ಕಡಿ ತಗೊಂಡು ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಅದೇ ತರ ನಮ್ ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ ವಾತಾವರಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರಬೇಕಲ್ವಾ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಓಕೆ ಈಗ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆದ್ರೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಗ್ರೋ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಅ ನಂಬರ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಏನೇನು ಬೇಕು ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಡೈಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಬೇಕು ಅಷ್ಟೆಲ್ಲ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಡೈಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿಂದ ತರೋದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆದ್ರೆ ವಿ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ದ ಸಫಿಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಡೈಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫುಡ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಈಗ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆದರೆ ಏನಾಗ್ಬೋದು ಓಕೆ ಈಗ ಬೇರ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಮಚ್ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಗೇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ತಿನ್ನಕ್ಕೆ ಫುಡ್ ಇರುತ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ನೋ ಫುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ನೇಚರ್ ದೇರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನಾವು ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹಾಕಬೇಕು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹೇಳ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸಾ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಡೂ ದಿ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಮೆನಿ ಮೋರ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರೀ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೆಂಚುರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಝೂ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಎವರ್ ವಿಸಿಟೆಡ್ ಝೂ ಹಿಂಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಝೂ ತುಂಬ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಎಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಟೂ ಆಫ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ಮೈ ಡಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ what we have learned okay we have learned about some unusual plants some plants doesn't have all the parts of plant and some non green plants means some plants doesn't have green color okay some insectivorous plants isn't that amazing yes insectivorous plants like venus like how it eats the insect yes it traps the insects into it okay then the energy flow and the balance between plants and animals we have learned today isn't it my dear students so in the next class we will revise some concept and we will do some